Okay, let's do this. So this is my hair fresh, not yeah, fresh out the shower, but it's been in a t-shirt drying for about 10 minutes. So it's kind of damp, but it's definitely not soaking wet. Um, so I just start off by putting my hair in sections and I put my hair in sections of how I want my hair to lay when it's all done. So I just put like two on the side, two in the back, and then one on in the front. But because I didn't know if I wanted a center part or a side part, I just kind of put it in the middle. So there's me struggling. Definitely struggling. My hair is very thick. I already know my arms are getting tired. Yup. Yeah. Girl, get off the camera. Like, yes, it's recording. <laughs> So I start in the back section, but because my hair is so thick, I gotta put the sections into sections. Ouch! Yeah, that hurt. That hurt, didn't it? But anyway, I have to <laughs> put the sections into sections. So I take that section and make an even smaller section out of it. And, and this is the Coconut Shea. It's natural defining cream, curl defining cream, and it's by Eden. And I got it from Target. So I usually use Shea Moisture curled curl enhancing smoothie but i'm just trying different products out right now so i just apply the product using the praying hands method which is just pressing both your hands together as you slide your hands down your hair to just distribute the product and i like this uh, method because it just defines my curls and i start finger detangling to get all the knots out because you gotta get those knots out because lord knows i haven't done an efficient curling hair routine in a minute yes <laughs> the eco styler the black caster oil. yes like i love this so i accidentally recorded this part of the video in time lapse so it moves really fast but pretty much what i'm doing right now i just applied the eco styler using the praying hands method and finger detangling again and then i go in with the comb and i don't do this every curly hair routine but because my hair was so tangled this time i just finger detangled and then went through with the comb okay so here is it slowed down pretty much so i'll show you guys again so this time i'm just going in with the coconut cream and doing the praying hands method you might see me pay a little more attention to my ends that's just because you got to pay closer attention to your ends because it's the oldest part of your hair and it tends to like act up so i just put a little more on my ends then i go in with the comb after i finger detangled so don't go in with the comb before you finger detangling if your hair is super tangled because this is gonna pull your hair out and then right now i just put the eco styler on and i'm using the praying hand method praying hands method and sometimes my curls clump up so i just sometimes go in and separate them and i put a little eco styler on my roots as well can we talk about the happiness when you're on that last section I was too happy. So basically, I'm pretty much done. I did the same thing I explained to you guys on all of the sections. Now I'm just making sure I got Eco Styler on my roots. Now I know it looks white, but every time I do this, I promise you it dries clear. Um, so that's how much hair I lost. I probably lost about two of those because I threw some of the hair away. So this is my hair after it's probably dried for an hour. It's definitely not all the way dried, but... I had to go to sleep. So this is what I do when I'm trying to preserve the curls, but I, I gotta go to sleep though. So I just use the banding method, which is just taking a hair tie and basically banding your hair. And again, I put it in section of, sections of how I want my hair to lay when I wake up. So I just band it all the way to the bottom and if I can't get the hair tie all the way to the bottom, I just curl it. I mean, I just um, twist it at the ends. 
and I do that to the rest of my hair. I just band it all the way down 